ask is you, you saw how the second and fourth quarter started going off uh, 12-1 and, and uh, or 16-0 and 12-1 uh, runs. Just wanted to know like if you saw any uh, common thread in those two runs. No, I thought um, just their physicality was, you know, to start the game early, you know, it was a lot. We didn't match their physicality on both sides of the floor. I thought they was into us defensively and then offensively. Um, they were more physical than we were. And um, we just didn't have a lot. You know, we didn't have a lot tonight. We didn't have a lot of pop and they played well. And we played we played bad. So with that combination, you're going to get a 30-point blowout. And so, you know, they were just starving for a win. You know, they've been playing well, getting up and having leads and, not being able to close. So we knew it was going to be a tough game and uh, we didn't play our best game and they played really good. Um, I take it that you, you get a loss like this. Amir said this will leave a bad taste in a team's mouth. And I guess that helps you in a way uh, transferring that energy to Golden State Tuesday. Oh yeah, you just got to turn the page. Like I said, it was a bad game for us. You know, we didn't play well and they played well. You know, so hats off to those guys and um, we got to move on, look forward to Golden State. But we do that, definitely got to play better than we did tonight. Uh, Amir said that he felt like the energy wasn't there in the beginning. You kind of said, it. "How do you like? How do you assess like whether or not it's an energy issue or it's a structural issue in the system? Like you know, system time." Just, just an eye test. I mean, you never really know, but we did look slow um, early on to start that game. They looked faster. Like I said, they were more physical to start, and um, you know, so uh, like I said, they play well. Um, I probably could have did some things earlier, but I thought we would be able to play better and get back into it. You know, which we did, you know, late in that third quarter. But in that first half, we just didn't um, – we didn't play very well. And like I said, they attacked us, you know, in transition. They got to the paint every single time. Um, our small lineup wasn't as good as we, you know, thought it would be. Um, just kind of got stagnant with that unit, you know. So that's on me. So we got to get better with that. And we just didn't play well. You had a lineup out there at one time. Uh, it was Rocco, Reggie, Nico, Marcus, and Zoo. So it's like a bigger lineup. Is, is that an, a lineup you could see yourself running several times? I just try anything when you when you when you're playing the way we played tonight. You know, you just you just try anything to try to you know make something work and make something stick. And um, you know, like I said, you know, our guys been playing well. This is just one game. You know, we didn't play we didn't play too good, and we understand that. You know, so you know we definitely got to be better at that, especially in front of our home fans. But it's one of those games we just didn't have it, and so you know you're gonna have some of those games, and you just gotta scrap this and get ready to go for Golden State. I, you mentioned physicality, but um, is there something about New York's defense that that is special that bothers you guys? And can what can you learn from that? About their defense? Yeah. No, they're just physical. They get into you. Um, they have a big, you know, big unit. Especially Ali Burke started the point guard. He's six six. You know, so they have length. Um, don't have a lot of mismatches. You can try to attack. And so, like I said, Tim's teams are always great defensively. So we knew that coming into the game. Um, we showed film the last two days of how we wanted to attack them. And we just didn't have it. You know, we just didn't execute it the right way. And we just, you know, we didn't make shots early, which led to them getting out in transition, um, which led to them, you know, be able to score in the paint a lot. So, um, like I said, we just didn't, we didn't play well tonight. When you guys cut it to 12, I think, right? I mean, <laughs> do you think, okay, we, we got it back? Yeah, I thought we had a chance. And then we had a chance to cut it to 10 or 9. Nine or ten. <laughs> um, we, we didn't get a shot off that last possession, you know, um, at the end of that third quarter. But, you know, our guys are always going to fight and compete. And like I said, it's one of these games we just, um, whatever they did, you know, um, they executed and they, they we weren't able to get stops. And even when we did play good defense, like quickly bank a three or what, you know, we just we just couldn't get stops. And um, that hurts us, you know. So, you know, like I said, they play well. TF did some great things offensively, you know, try to attack some mismatches. Um, but I thought their physicality attacking the basket was was um, pretty glaring. Ty, obviously, that Mitchell was a big body. They got 15 offensive boards. But I guess more so than just tonight, you guys have been so good at uh, grabbing defensive rebounds since really, um, you know, the trade deadline. I guess I think you're top seven in the league in terms of percentage grabbed. What's been the switch? Because that was such a struggle early on was closing out you know, possessions. And, and I got to go back and look at it, Andrew, but <laughs> I thought probably on – five or six of his offensive rebounds, um, I thought we really, you know, did a good job of trying to box out and trying to hit him. And, you know, we just too small at times. And um, we even got a couple of resumes. We just we just reached over and, you know, and kind of, you know, grabbed those. But, you know, we, we made emphasis on the last two days. We showed film. We know he had seven in the first quarter, the first half, last game we played him. And um, like I said, when you're attacking the paint and you get into the paint, 
Um, it's hard for our bodies. I mean, our bigs to keep a body on him. So um, when he has a mismatch on the glass, he usually comes up with it. Yeah. Ty, we didn't get a chance to talk to you. I mean, we talked to Tibbs after we talked to you, and he said that you were a bit of a gambler and a risk taker as a player. Uh, what do you think inspired him to, to say that about you? He said what? You were a bit of a gambler and a risk taker as a player. I try anything, man, because I don't said care. That too. Yeah, because I don't care. I don't care what people think. I don't care what y'all write, what y'all say. I just do what I believe in that's, that's going to work and what's right. And so um, it's something you work on every day. And it's, um, you know, things that you come and you work on as your philosophy. And if you live by that and your team understands that and you go out and do it and it doesn't work, then you can live with that because that's what you work on as your philosophy, you know. So um, when I'm coaching, I just feel like, you know, I try anything to see what works. And some people are afraid to do that because they're scared of you guys. Tip, Tip said that he was uh, like at one point they were like desperate to try and keep you around. Uh, you were like playing your ass off, doing everything you could here in the summer and all that. Like, uh, did you sense that from them that they really wanted to keep you around when they were in Boston? I believe. Yeah, um, they did. You know, I came into right before camp and just played. You know, I think a week with them in the summertime, and um, I actually played really well. So I thought I was going to make the team, but I made the team as a coach instead of a player. <laughs> But, you know, just keep me around. And like I said, Tibbs showed me a lot, taught me a lot. Doc did the same. And so did Lawrence Frank. You know, they taught me a lot. Um, more so with Tibbs and Lawrence, just, you know, the, the work ethic, what it takes to be a coach and um, defensive coach. And Doc, just the, the work you have to put in, you know, it's a lot of work, you know. And so um, learning that right off the bat really helped me uh, to become who I am today.